Hey everyone, Merix here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Snoop Dogg, the top dog, the newest modern era trickster. He has two links. He's got the dog pound, matching yellow gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point, and modern era, gems do 5% more damage. He does have two gears. When you get the second gear, move that, moves that destroy pyro gems will destroy two more pyro gems. I have the gear for this preview. He's a coach. He's a red move damage coach at 12k. They deal 25% more damage. Um, that is going to be very good on guys like Zombie Daniel Bryan, um, Keith Lee, Skull of, Hall of Fame Scott Hall, uh, Powerhouse Kane, um, and people like that. Pretty solid uh, coach. Probably good on Walter, too. Um, let's take a look at his moves. Uh, the Snoop Slam. Uh, is one I'm not going to be using at all in the preview. I know I usually try to use all of them. This one is very, very situational. Uh, it's a 1 MP move available at 5 star. Deal 19k damage and increase opponent's countdown gem timers by 2. Uh, so very, very situational. Um, so the moves we're going to start out with... Oh, and um, I got three move sets I'm going to show for you guys. Snoop is a very, very good card and super versatile and a lot of fun to play, actually. Sadly, I'm not going to get to keep him. Um, this first move set, we're going to be using the Dog Splash. He, it's a finisher, 10 MP purple, does 70k damage, makes 7 Leech Gems into Yellow Gems, and pin the opponent. Ain't no fun, 8 MP yellow move, deal 46k damage, and choose 5 gems to make into purple. And drop it like it's hot, 4 MP yellow, deal 38k damage, and to choose 2 gems to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into leech gems of strength 6,983. Uh, pyro gems are like snowfall gems, except they go up instead of down. Pretty cool mechanic. We got Akum for 4 more yellow MP. Shamrock for 2 more yellow MP. This way we can get started turn 1. Um, Lacey buffs purple gems by 20% and also green gems and then uh, zombie Sasha for for more yellows on the starting board there's a bunch of different ways you could go with uh, trainers for Snoop I'll get into that more during the match why I chose what I chose um, Bruno is strapped and I have tour perks Snoop also has a month-long bonus of plus three to generate gems so the finisher is going to be making 10 leech gems into yellow and the choose will be doing eight um, i won't be using the choose for more than five though um, so this would be what he'd play like when the month-long bonus is gone i do have tour perks active they are maxed plus three and uh, plus two on a match so plus three starting mp so technically i wouldn't need shamrock to start turn one but uh, this is kind of a potential for a feud setup that you could go with, or if you don't have your perks max. So, um, and then Bruno, he is strapped, fifty percent gem reduction, pretty much, and then some move reduction as well. Uh, so ideally, and this is why I have the yellow trainer on, um, because you're only making seven gems. You want to get on the finisher after this month you'd only be making seven or with this build too you could also use nwo macho would be super good um booker t as a coach generate an extra yellow and um dolph ziggler those would all be useful um and then powerhouse hogan would be very good i don't have those guys well i have booker t but a lot of people don't so this is what i'm going to run for the preview so you want to choose columns with the yellows above it. And we're going to choose five gems to make into purple. Pretty easy to load the first time around. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So here again, we wouldn't need the gem generate. We would get this naturally. Uh, you could also use uh, Showboat Cena to buff yellow gem damage. Uh, we could be using Move Damage Trainer um, for purples or yellows. 
Um, I think this build set for Snoop is a prime candidate for double armor. It would be very good for that. And you, there's things you can do. So if you go up a row higher, you can control how many gems there are. So you can do something like this. Again, seven is more than enough. Nice little cascade. So there's really a lot you can do with this move set and trainers, depending on how much you want to mess with your board. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, not going to take a lot of damage with this move set for sure. That's why armor would be pretty clutch for it. And again, if you don't have a lot, you can kind of go wherever you want. You can pick a row. Um, we could do this one. And that's going to drop three into there. So that should fill it up. Works for me. Sure. Just throw some of those around just for funsies. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, six would be enough. So, a lot of flexibility with the trainers if you want to play it smartly. Um, so, you could also potentially put Honky Tonk Man with the armor. There's just a ton of different ways you could do. And if you have some of those coaches, you get a lot more flexibility. So, really good card. We ended, uh, what, almost full life? Probably. So, the next moveset, and, and the first one is my least favorite of the three I'm going to show you. Uh, next moveset is really fun. Yeah, almost full life. Okay, we're going to bring in both of the black moves. And the other purple. All right, so we got the next episode. 8 purple MP, deal 46k damage and choose 5 gems to make into black gems. Uh, Snoop Spear, deal 42k damage and choose pyro, 4 pyro gems to destroy. We're going to be able to do 6 because of the gear. And Gems and Juice, deal 34k damage and choose 3 gems to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into purple gems. And that one's 4 MP. We're going to replace Acum for Bray. For four more um, black MP. And both blacks would be ready turn one. They're low charges. So that's really useful. And we're going to go with uh, tough for purple gem damage. If we didn't have the generate uh, perk active, I would actually put uh, Titus in to choose more black gems. And then we're going to replace... Oops, move charge, move generate, no ball. For zombie Sasha, for zombie Charlotte. So we have more purples on the starting gem board. Um, also, potentially, um, Bree, if you have Hall of Fame Bree 9K, you're getting an extra black gem. That would be the better move. Yeah, and if you needed to, like I said, because of perks, you just swap uh, Tough Out for Titus, and then you're going to get plenty to choose. 
And after the first cycle, this one gets really, really, really good after the first cycle. It's not bad on the first cycle, but by the second one, it does a lot, a lot of damage. Um, so we can make three columns above it into purple. So I like this one and this one and this one. Put those pyros out and then break them with that. The next move and it's going to load the purple and we can start all over because the purple will load the blacks. So, not bad. 238k against a strapped opponent on turn one. And it's just going to get better. Perfect. A lot of pin bar to play with. So, what's really cool about this one so you make a five match and then leave yourself a three match. So you get the five match, put your three pyro gems down. We'll take those three. And then you take that three match And you can put out another three pyro gems. And this is where having the gear is nice. It makes it require less setup for sure. And now we're basically going to turn almost the entire board purples and hit for a lot of damage. This moveset is really, really fun. And remember, this is a, a strapped opponent too. Boom. No cascade there either, and still hit for a bunch of damage. So really good, really good build, really good card. Um, and let's look at the next one. This is going to be a tricolor one. This one you have to get very creative, but it is a lot of fun. You could also potentially start with the moves that I just showed you this way, um, depending on the situation. So we're going to run a tricolor. And right now this is mostly working because I have plus three tour perks. So you wouldn't be able to turn one this, say, in feud, but it's a lot of fun. So I think it's worth showing. Well, I say that, but here, let's get the right trainers in. Actually, let's do the moves first. So we're going to bring back the drop it like it's hot. And the next episode, which we still have equipped. Okay, we're good. So we're just bringing back drop it like it's hot. That's the other pyro move for MP yellow. We're going to put woods in. for purple MP. I don't have another dual purple uh, MP trainer at this time. If you did, uh, like APA, you could put him in there or Vince at 15K and you could start turn one um, with the, the choose move as well. And again, it's normally gonna be choose five, but it's choose eight right now because the bonus. But, like, if you had Hall of Fame Bree, that would be um, going up by one. If you had Hogan, it would be going up. So, um, there's a lot, a lot of options with this. Okay. This one takes a little bit of setup, so hopefully I won't screw it up here for you guys so you can see.
A lot of black gems on this row. That messes with it a little bit. That's the one thing that can sort of wreck our fun. But we're good. we should be fine. Okay. So for the choose move, you want to set up a row break on the bottom, right there, and then we just need to fill the black again. So a three match or a, a four a four match row break is sufficient. Now you can also try and pick the yellows up. Um, to make that recyclable and that's what I'll go for here because I can grab two of them except I haven't used the yellow move yet but I could have used the yellow move first and try to start that recycle and force to pin anyway so this would be what would have happened turn one if I wouldn't have forced a pin Put three down there. Put the leech gem in the middle. Turn the whole board purple and connect a bunch of the leech gems too for some extra damage. It's the hardest I've been able to get him hit and you can do that turn one if you don't force a pin. That's a fully strapped opponent. So now that I've kind of explained the setup um, as a bonus, I'm going to take on a five-star silver in the preview. Uh, and I'll use this moveset because it gets some healing and dishes out the most damage. So let's go here and where are you right here let's take on AJ Styles so yeah five star silver much more hit points much higher level uh, but I'm pretty sure Snoop is up to the task This card is a lot of fun to play, guys. A lot of fun to play. Okay. We'll do it here. Like so. We're going to put that one there. Okay. Going to set up the row break. Again, you could sub Titus in too for the choose if you didn't have, um, say, like Bree and Hogan or whatever. You could absolutely sub Titus in. So set up the row break on the bottom. And then we need a four match. Let's get one yellow. Um, but let's say we didn't. Um, we've used four. If you had, um, there's five. Granted, that takes a little bit of luck, but if you had Bree, you would need less. So you can still get this without the crazy rear coaches. A little bit more, slightly more board dependent, but yeah. Then we hit our row break and make a whole lot of purple. And now we try and do it all over again. Unfortunately, there's a wild card on the bottom. 
which kind of messes with our stuff a little bit. But it is what it is. Again, going to set up the row break on the bottom. And then we need four. Oh, that would not be good. Like so. So we can pick up a couple yellows. I'm not going to put the leech gems out this time. Because of the wild card there. But we got a bunch of leech gems co to connect to this time. And a nice cascade. Big damage. One, AJ's going to get a move off. Okay. And set up the column break on the bottom. The row break. You know, again, only using four if we went there. Top is better option. Less likely to cause a pin. Drop the leech gem. Fill in the rest of the pyro and then break the row. So this main reason too, I wanted to go against um, a five-star silver. Really give you guys a chance to see how you can manipulate the board and what you can do with Snoop, and just how strong of a card it is. This is a really, really good card. That's actually not the best setup because I could have saved an extra gem. But that's okay. Yeah, I really did not play that one well. Oh well. See if I can get myself out of it. Mostly. You can all make fun of me afterwards for that. That's a lot of purple gems. There you go, guys. Snoop. Really dang good. That was against a uh, five-star silver. And we lost almost no hit points. So I hope you guys enjoy this preview. I cannot wait to hear the comments. Uh, what you guys think. What you think of the card. Um, what you think about having Snoop in the game. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I got a bunch more previews coming today. So thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.